It's all a bit quiet for Arsenal. Well, apart from a bid for Wilf Zaha that Crystal Palace appear to have dismissed out of hand. Maybe they'll be back in for the England winger. But Arsenal need to strengthen after a year of, well, mediocrity, you'd have to say. Yep, I agree. Maiden campaign for Unai Emery. This is where they finished. Fifth compared to sixth the last season under Wenger. An improvement of seven Premier League points. That's uh, good news. But again, they're going to be in the Europa League, Paul. So what should Arsenal be doing this summer as they make moves off the field? We hear about Freddie Ljungberger being promoted from the under-23s amidst those changes. Well, I think if you look at that graphic straight away, it's goals against. I mean, 50-odd goals is unacceptable. If, if you're going to do anything decent in, in world football, you need to have a very strong defence. And that's one thing that Arsenal have not got. Uh, look, Koscielny has been an incredible servant to the football club, but I think he's just... On the other side of the mountain, he's just dropping down a little bit with his, with his uh, abilities. Um, Mustafi, I've never been a lover of Mustafi. Um, I, I just think when you're looking at a team, when you're building a side, you want the spine to be very, very strong. The goalkeeper, you know, I'm not really enamoured with the keeper. He's OK. The two central defenders I've spoken about. I like Torreira. I think the fans like Torreira. But there's rumours that he may be moving to Italy. I don't know why. Um, for me, he's played Guendouzi way too much. Um, and then going forward, it just seems that Aubameyang and Lacazette have got something going. So you play those two through the middle and, and they score goals. So it's fairly obvious for me where they've got to strengthen and they've got to do it quickly. And that's in, uh, in defence. The talk is that they don't really have that much money to, to spend. Back in the, the years of Arsene Wenger, where he was very successful, was bringing young players through. And yep. we, we talked about Freddie Lundberg there being promoted from coach of the under-23s to being now sort of head of this transitional development mm -hmm. at Arsenal, where they decide what's best for each player. Is there really a chance for them to bring through players in the numbers that they did from the academy? We saw, I think, seven under-23s had spent time in the academy, get Premier League minutes last year under right. Arsenal. So is there a chance for those players to move forward? They've signed Gabriel Martinelli, another youngster from Brazil, 18-year-old yep. attacker. Is there a chance or is it just well, now too expensive it, to make it happen? Well, it, it, goes, it goes down to the philosophy of the football club. If, if that's the philosophy, then they've got to get that message out loud and clear to, to all Arsenal fans. Because, you know, when, when you think about the times that they were happy to come in, into, you know, second, third, fourth spot because they're in Champions League, those days may go pretty quickly because if you're going to send a message out to the, to the fans, OK, what we're going to do, we're going to build from the base, we're going to work with, with Freddie, Freddie's going to bring players through, great, fine. If that's the way you're going to do it, so don't expect to be playing Champions League football because other teams are strengthening, lesser teams are strengthening and are they going to take over this, the, these, these spots? You know, the Europa League. Is Europa League a tournament that, that, that they want to be in? I'm guessing no. Because it's, it's arduous, it's really, you know, takes it out of the players and most, for the most time they don't really play the first team players. So the answer is yes, there is room for that philosophy, but it's got to, the message has got to be loud and clear to the fans. A rejigging of expectations, isn't it? Yep. At the same time, can they do both? Could they, could they do all of those changes behind the scenes? Edu, uh, you'd have to think that he's got something to do with this Gabriel Martinelli signing currently with the Brazil team, looking to come into the club as well. That Arsenal philosophy with Lundberg, Edu, also Pires floating around the club. Can they do all of that at the same time no. <laughs> as identifying the top talent and spending very well, big money? Well, the, the thing is, only time will tell. Uh, you, you see, uh, let's talk about Guendouzi for, just for a I think he's going to be a good player, but I don't think he's ready for the big stage just yet. I, I just feel that, that he, he, he's left where he gives the ball away too much. He doesn't afford protection to a very poor back four. So if you're playing in the holding role, what's your job restriction? Mm -hmm. so, so yes, there's time to play players. Uh, is it in the Premier League? I'm guessing it's probably not. Now, is it in lesser tournaments? Yes, yes it is. But if you're good enough, you will, you will shine through. You will come through. Uh, and and uh, you know, Freddie Lundberg has been around the game for a long, long time. He will know what a special talent is. And hopefully Unai Emery will recognise that and be able to put, put that player it, into the, the system that he wants to employ. Um, but if you look at everybody, you know, Arsenal fans are saying Rob Hall is coming back. He's going to be the, the big saviour at the, at the heart of the defence. I don't think so. So we, you know, we need to be realistic. If we're going to spend, you know, small amounts of money, then we've got to be in for a bit of a rude awakening. But that message has got to be loud and clear 
from the, the hierarchy at the football club. And finally, just missing the Champions League by two points would make it seem that that is absolutely um, closable in terms of a gap. Yep. You know, if they'd picked up more points in the final five games, they'd mm. have been uh, sitting back this summer and saying, hey, we're back in the Champions League, things are on the up. Uh, how much patience will the fans give Emery, do you think, this year? It depends on the message. It really does. It, it, if, if, it's, if it's all guns blazed and we've got, got the Champions League, we're going to try and win the, the Premiership, then where is it? It's not going to happen. I mean, fans hopefully will be realistic. But they're miles away from City, miles away from Liverpool. Tottenham are spending money. They're miles away from Tottenham at the moment. And Chelsea, who knows what's going to happen if Frank does come in, whether apparently they, they're not going to be able to sign players. So getting into that top four is already very difficult. So it's all about messaging and it's all about you know, getting off to a decent start. OK, so they need the points, they need the players, they need the fans with them. Arsenal need to send the right signals this summer.